you know, that's why I've said that to when people when people write or through social media say the fans. Well, they never, I'll guarantee those people that write that or say that never talk to the fans. I talk to more people on the street that are fans that can give you the real read on what's going on. Best part, coach the Canadian team. They're they're with you, win or lose. But they're usually right too. They recognize the effort and they recognize lack of effort. Daryl, no team's played more one goal games than yours so far this season. Have you seen any change in comfort level? Like as you play more and more, do you see any change no. in no? No. You want to win those one goal games. That's the difference, right? If you look, just take Winnipeg and Calgary the other night. Why has one team got more split, more points? Seven extras, right? I think they, we were at seven overtimes and they were at, uh, yeah, like they've, they, they haven't even been in a shootout. They've won all those games in overtime. So those are all one goal games. So that's the difference. The only reason you're talking about is because they're one goal games. I mean, if the five of them were, were wins instead of losses, then. Or overtimes. That's the difference. That's all it is. Difference in, like your, your question is difference in how we. Yeah, I'm just wondering as you've played more of them, do you see a different comfort or has it been? They're different. Or? They're really clear. I've said it all along. I've said it after the very first one. You need your, your top players to score a goal, make a difference. You need a difference maker. So once in a while it happens and that guy gets big first star and gets 16 interviews, you should do it more often. Hey, that's that's what it's about. I mean, it's not like you got a team of a guy that's can just take the game over. So that means that when it's your turn to make the play, make it. Not, it's not going to be a guy who goes coast to coast. It's really it's pretty straightforward. Daryl, where have you uh, seen growth in uh, Dylan's all-round game? I think Dylan is a guy that works at his game. Dylan is the most improved player, and I'm fortunate I get to watch, the, you know, our farm team quite a bit, or at least you know watch farm team more than I ever have. So, he's Dylan's the most improved player in the organization, like hands down. Give him lots of credit. He works his game, and it's about repetition and and preparation and training, everything. He's he's spot on, right? He's climbing the ladder in terms of. In the in that whole leadership part and all that, and that's what I've said. You know, remember you guys talked about this, right? Guys in the organization got to take steps. It's not the guys coming in; it's the young guys in that age group. He's Dylan's taken a, done a great job. Where's the biggest improvement from me? Like I think Dylan? I think because he's such a repetition and a and a do it right all the time guy, it translates into his game. So. You know, so what you're always, you know, I always said this about Dylan, uh, it was just being consistent, right? So when you do, when you train to be consistent, train your brain to do everything properly, then it becomes, when it's for real, then it, you're more consistent with it. And he's learned that. And if you look at his, I said this also about Dylan Duda, you look at his career, you know, his junior career and his Memorial Cups and all that, right? Like, you look at everything, that that's that's how it's translated for his career, and now he's starting to see that here, too. Makes perfect sense when, when you apply yourself.